Hello and welcome to Boring Dad Gaming, where today we're going to be learning another technique from Card Shark. So this one is the 19th trick that you'll learn. This is called the brush and the fan. Uh, and unlike the other um, episodes so far, we'll be playing this one uh, dressed as a lady. Um, and the reason for that is that the Count wants us to use our compact mirror here in order to spy on people's uh, cards and to indicate to him what their highest, uh, how many cards they have in their highest suit. So there's a few things going on here. First of all, which we don't seem to be practicing in the move itself, is that we're going to be marking cards in the same way that we did during the uh, Stealthy Painter. Uh, so if you haven't seen the previous episode where we learned that technique, then I, I do advise watching that as well. But basically we get to mark a number of high cards, so the face cards and aces, in a way that we can see during the game and to help uh, win the game. Uh, as, uh, so as I said, please watch the previous video if you haven't already. So we're going to start off with the step after that, where we're spying on the deck itself. Right, so here we have our compact mirror, and we need to find uh, the hand of cards that we're going to be spying on. We need to find the suit with the most cards, which is quite obviously uh, clubs here. We don't need to memorise any of the values, though, so it's just three clubs is the important part to remember. So that in mind, we'll move on. And now we have another way of signalling here, which is with this fan, which is where the name of the move comes in. And just as with when we were wiping the cloth and things like that, we have ways of signalling suits. And we're going to hold down the left mouse button, and we can drag our fan up and down to signal different suits. And it does say here on the left, but we'll just talk through it in stages. So the first stage is for clubs. Then we drag a little bit further up, and we get to hearts. A bit further up to spades, and then all the way up for diamonds. But we're interested in clubs, so we'll go back down to clubs. And how we signal the number of cards in the suit, we again let hold down the left mouse button and we're going to move down once, down twice. Uh, do look onto the left and just make sure that the game's registered your, your movement. And we need to uh, go fully up and down one more time to get to three clubs. There we go. Uh, we're going to practice that one more time. So here's our mirror. We left click to take hold of the mirror and we're going to move that around to find the uh, hand of cards that we're spying on oh where is that ah here we go so we have four diamonds this time so let's move on and remember for diamonds we need to move all the way up to the fully open fan and now we're going to grasp the fan with the left mouse button and move down once. And it's, 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 it seems to recognise it better if, you, if after coming down you pull all the way back up to the top. Remember, we're still holding down the left mouse button. So then we're going to go down and up, down and up, down and up. And now we have four diamonds highlighted, so we let go and we've given the correct signal to the compt. Um, now it's worth practising this a few times, I think mainly to get used to the uh, movement of the mirror because I, I think for me anyway the controls feel like they're inverted and I don't know if that's something you can change within the menu to perhaps make it easier. Um, but yes, it, you are against the clock on the mission when you're doing that so it's worth you know being fairly comfortable with, with the way you're moving it around too. So that was it, that was the brush and the fan, so thanks very much for watching, I hope it was useful. Uh, if it was, then please do hit the like button on the video, that would be great, and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.